Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today's video should be very exciting. Actually, just kidding. We're just replacing sun visors. But even if it's not a exciting video, it is fixing a very annoying type of problem. Uh, you're really proud of your Corvette. Somebody says, hey, can I go for a ride? So they jump in, and then the first thing they notice is that the sun visors stink. Uh, the C5 Corvettes are really known for having crappy sun visors. Um, you end up with what they call the uh, the dog ears, and then I don't know if you can see this. The uh, the mirror starts pulling off. Um, overall, they really stink, and it happens to to both sides. And to add insult to injury, the replacement mirrors or sun visors are kind of pricey. Uh, they're almost a hundred bucks a piece. But it is what it is. They've got to be replaced at some point. Um, it's a pretty simple job. Uh, really only requires just a small flathead screwdriver, but it's a little bit tricky if you haven't done it before. Um, to me, it's not intuitive what you got to do. Uh, so I thought I'd show you kind of a close-up of what's required to get this uh, arm to let loose from the bezel. So I'll zoom in here and you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm zoomed in here for you so you can see a close-up. But if you see, there's a slot... Uh, right there, that a little flathead screwdriver can go into. Uh, you don't have to press hard, it, it just stops. Um, but we're going to use that. Really what we want to do is to get this plastic bezel piece, excuse me, uh, to rotate. Because when you just move the arm normally, this piece doesn't move. Um, but we're going to use the sun visor arm as a leverage point, and then as we rotate the arm, we're actually going to get the uh, plastic bezel uh, to rotate as well. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. There we go. There we go. Just need a bit more. Voila pops out and then obviously you got the wiring connector you have to kind of fish that out of the uh, windshield frame there we go There you go. So not difficult, but kind of a pain in the butt. But you can see how poor shape this one was in. It's uh, definitely seen better days. Okay, so for the reinstall, uh, I went ahead, I popped out this plastic uh, bezel piece. Just so you can see. If I can get where you can see. So it's like a triangle shape here. Uh, two of the corners are the same, but this third corner is kind of flattened on the point so it's a little different than the other two and you also notice when this goes in there's a kind of an alignment pin here it will only align a, a particular way when you put it back in there so those three that kind of triangle piece matches up with this so you can see it so you got two of the corners that are kind of the pointy end of the triangles and then this bottom one is kind of flattened off so these align with this and there so you have to and of course you can rotate this um, if you grip it you can spin to so kind of get an idea of where this would be Okay, so reconnect your electrical connector. Uh, you may have to pop this trim bezel down just a bit so that you can get the uh, connector to go all the way up and in. And then you may need to rotate this piece so that you get the, uh, the flats lined up properly.
there we go and it'll pop in and then as you rotate it all the way forward it connects in and there you go new visor installed mirror works easy peasy okay so there you have it that's how the uh, some visors get replaced it's the same thing both driver's side and the passenger side um, you've got to get that inner bezel piece to rotate um, and then you have to, to line up the kind of triangular piece when you go to put it back in <clears throat> so once you see how it works it's not too hard it just takes a little finagling uh, to make everything fit uh, so as always Thanks for tuning in to Scruff's Garage. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments. Um, I'll answer anything that I can. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.